A change in ambulance care in Blunt County, a new contract between the county and its ambulance provider, AMR, would change the priority. From how fast the ambulance gets to you to how well providers care for you when they get there. 10 News reporter Vinay Simlot explains why the county is moving that way and how they hope it works. Vinay? From the moment the call comes in, Blunt County 911. The clock's ticking. How long will it take for the response from this desk to your address? Under the current contract, AMR has to respond to calls within 10 minutes or 45, depending on the severity. And if they don't, they'll get fined. When you get into a situation where time is all it's focused on, sometimes care takes a back seat. That's why Don Stallions in Blunt County decided they want to change their contract. We're actually one of the first in the country to do this. From how quickly the ambulance responds to how well the EMTs and paramedics care for the person in the back. Studies have shown that the three or four minutes uh, extra is not as important as the care and the treatment that the patients receive. That care includes offering people in Blunt County telehealth, a phone call with a nurse, an Uber or a Lyft to urgent care instead of just a quick ambulance ride to the emergency room. During the pandemic, AMR faced thousands in fines for delayed responses. Both Blunt and Knox counties waived those fines. Now AMR's regional director says that played into this new proposal. I think that's the component of it, right? I mean, obviously COVID changed how we, how we all do business. If the fine is not there, will it take longer for AMR to get there? Is there is still time there. There's still required to be time, but it's not, it's, it's not as strict. The county's goal is to change the way they respond Next time you call 911. That's what we do. Sit around and wait for somebody to have a bad day. Reporting from Blunt County, I'm Vinay Simlot. AMR began a pilot program in Knox County earlier this year. It allows patients to talk to a nurse instead of calling for an ambulance. It's the same program AMR wants to begin in Blunt County with the new contract. It will go in effect on July 1st. The county says they are still working on how AMR will be graded on their patient care.